So anyone out there listening, listen, this is a very, you know, I don't, I don't care if you, what your political beliefs are. Listen, my whole life I thought I was, you know, more or less I was a Democrat, you know, like as far as my, my, my father was a union person. It was very, very left wing, but, but through the union aspect of it, the Democratic Party and all of that. And, uh, you know, not, a, you know, so it's like the, it, it, the, the Republicans are not the enemy. The Democrats are not the enemy. You know, the, these parties are not the enemy. We are the people. And we have been hijacked by, by the government is, has, has been hijacked by criminals who have taken, are taking away our liberty. Now, this thing, like the John Birch Society, a lot of these liberals, quote unquote, or left-wing people would just, first of all, dismiss the whole thing. But if you listen to what they've said, and, and people that have been part of it, like, for example, uh, you know, you, you have the truth that... Um, Everything that they've talked about in the 50s and 60s actually has come to fruition. And then when you take people that have, took, that have taken right, exactly, and, and you look at what have happened, I mean, be objective. Don't be, a, don't be a party guy. Don't be a lying guy. Be a human. Be a, be a smart individualist, which is what they want us to do. They want to separate us. That's why We Are Change is such a great organization because it's, it's not left. It's not right. It's straight down the center. It's the real grassroots. It's the people of the people. I mean, think about it, Howard. What do you do? You know, you're you work for a corporate, uh, 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 a local company. You're not no big wig working in the military, or you know, working for a pharmaceutical company, or working for these big contracting companies around the country. You know, you're just a normal working person, just like the rest of us. And that's why, like, we are changing is a great, a great place to bring our uh, ideas to action. And because I don't, you know, when I, before I was actually found my place at home. You know, I was by myself, and I didn't feel that I fitted in, in the liberal and progressive side. I was like, no, I don't believe in socialism and believe that everybody has to deserve to get everything by everybody else, you know? And then I don't believe in the right side, you know? I don't believe that we should be having military bases, honestly, anywhere outside our country. I agree. Um, we can close, a, you know, we can close at, least, at, least, at least 900 of them and be, still be oh, a no, safe, I think, you know? I think they've actually totaled over, over 950 now in... in they're getting ready to build a hundred million dollar prison yeah, in, no, Afghanistan. in Afghanistan. It's I know about I know. two thousand people. I know. You know, and we have ten cities in this country, and they're getting ready to spend a hundred million dollar prisons in other countries. Prisons, prisons. Right. I mean, how about build the community? If you're going to build anything, I thought we were going there to rebuild, right? No, um, it's all lies. Everything's a lie. You see, it's all a lie. It's all. A lie. Well, you know, that's Carl Rove actually admitted it. Oh, yeah. uh, anybody can go look it up. Carl Rove actually admitted um, that they live in a reality-based community, that they are the yeah. uh, illusions they create the reality. That's and exactly it's, it's, right. When you hear people like that, that say that, that's very disturbing to let you know that <laughs> these are the people in the administrations that are running your life. Yeah, Jim. This is their philosophy. You know, I mean, it's like, we, we would have put, you know, it's like, it's like having a babysitter be a pedophile and you know it, and you just let the babysitter and still babysit your kids. I mean, it's out of control. It's crazy. It's out of control. But, but they I mean, let us do it. Back to that, that one. The Agenda 21 meeting is going to be next Tuesday at 7 o'clock at night in Southern Connecticut. At the police station. Yeah, at the police station. I mean, it's right Southern across the police from, station. You guys know where Walmart is on sure. um, Queen Street? Yep, my, it's Queen it, Street. exactly. My, my in laws live in Southern Street. Right across the street is uh, Lazy Lane, and right up on the right, like literally about 200 feet in, you're going to find the police department. That's great. And um, it's it's a free admission. And uh, like I said, it's going to be more of uh, informating yourself about the actual negative sides to this uh, community revitalization, whatever they want to call it now. I mean, they have all these sweet names that make you, you know, mm -hmm. that make it sound good and so peaceful and loving, then, then the UN comes in and owns you. But, well, that's exactly uh, it. Well, they, actually, they actually had one that was on the side of the Agenda 21 just the other day in Beacon Falls High School. Mm. And they had these people there that were speaking on behalf of, you know, the positive side of this Agenda 21 kind of idea. And... We had one of our members down there, and they videotaped a, a good amount of it. But the problem is, is they ran out of videotape, and then after that happened, you know, they, you know, because the video stopped and they were still talking. Right. 
what happened was there was a certain part where they were talking about um, quads and running through the woods. And these quads were bringing, you know, um, species of plants that aren't native. And the species of vines and plants are killing our native plants, which I, I could agree with that. You know, I can understand let's do that. But let's, let's, come, let's come up with something different. Like, we don't need to call the UN for this. But that's what actually resulted into it, because the woman was speaking on behalf of, like, finding out how we could stop these um, quad ATV riders from driving in the woods and bringing all these uh, plants that aren't native of, the, uh, of our towns and cities and the state. And she was like, you know, who do we call? Who do we call? Does anybody she have calls the fucking United Nations? Are you kidding me? That's what it was. kept on elaborating, like, who do we call? Who do we call? <laughs> Does there anybody have any information? Oh, and my God. Goes, we call the UN? And it was like, what? Jesus. You, are you serious? Well, you got to remember, she's, she's supported by the UN, and that's why she <sighs> used the UN. But, but she softly, subconsciously said it in the audience to mm. maybe plant some seeds in people's heads. And this is very disturbing how they're saying, the UN, are you really going to go to the UN to get rid of some vines in your local neighborhoods? How about let's just come up with, like, local, you know, non-profit organizations that aren't even five hundred one cs like us, just regular people that just go out and, and get involved in the community and take care of it. Yeah. You know, and that's what we should be doing. Let's go to the people that ride these ATVs and see if they, you know, come up with a committee or a group that could... Uh, organize and maybe work together, you know, it's just out of control. They just go, right, oh, let's go to the U.N. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just, the UN. just nuts. You don't, even, you don't even go to the state. You don't even, <laughs> you don't even go to yeah, the city, yeah, the yeah. town, nothing. Go right to the United <laughs> Nations. Well, listen, that's what it's going to be like. I mean, that's what they want, this one world government, you know. But for, it's funny, you were talking about the John Birch Society, right? Um, you know, Larry... Wage a war on that vine and maybe drop some humanitarian bombs on it or something and get rid of it. I yeah, some love bombs. Happen. Get some Obama love bombs. Yeah, maybe she should call. Yeah, exactly. Give uh, give uh, give Hillary and the State Department a call. Say, listen, we got to do a false flag attack, and we have to yeah, make it. We have to. Bl we're gonna blame it. We're gonna blame it on the vine. But it's really gonna be it's really gonna be the beetles, you know. And then we'll put these yeah, we'll put these really beautiful. bad beetles in there that'll eat all the vines and or eat all the whatever, you know. I mean, it's just insane. That's how they operate, folks. If you haven't used, I'm just using a little so, euphemism. But the one I'm thinking is actually gonna be done by uh, some Oath Keepers. Yeah, Oath Keepers uh, is great. Yeah. Stuart Rhodes found it's awesome. He's 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 uh, you know he went to Yale. He's uh, he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's from Connecticut originally, or at least uh, now I think he lives in Montana. Smart guy. Getting away from this area, but um, I'm not sh not sure who's showing up that is uh, representing these organizations. Mm -hmm. But they will have a representative from each organization, and each one's going to be the Oath Keepers, um, the John Birch Society, and the uh, Connecticut Patriot Alliance are going to be sponsoring this. So, like I said, it's free. It's seven o'clock at night, so everybody should you know. Yeah, anyone dinner. local, anyone local in the Connecticut area listening, come on down. I mean. Agenda 21, I've talked about it uh, actually quite at length in the last, uh, you know, since I've been doing broadcasting here, I, you know, we talk about it all, this is like Gibson Guitars being raided, taking the wood because it was rendered here and not in India. This is an example of the Agenda 21 protocol being put into place. Um, you got to understand this is how they're going to continue to collectivize us and, and control what we can buy and where we buy it from and how it's made and who's going to buy it. and. The own federal government told the president of Gibson to have his guitar, have the Gibson guitars made in Madagascar, uh, so that it wouldn't affect the law. I mean, that's just insane, you know. If you don't like the laws, I'm sorry, you got to move. Yeah. You know, and let me uh, see why we're on the topic of uh, of these events coming up on the 20th of next week. It's a Thursday. There's going to be a 9/11 explosive evidence. Experts speak out in the 9 11 Truth movie being played free in Middletown at uh, 616 Long Hill Road. I think it's called The Little Barn. And the, uh, the event is free. And that's, like I said, it's at 6 30 at night. And the event is, I mean, I think the movie's probably around two hour long. So you know, expect yourself to be there for at least a couple hours. I just I would assume the same thing with the uh, Agenda 21 at the uh, police station in Southington. You know, expect to be there for a couple hours. And uh, each event, I would assume that you would be able to ask questions. 
So if you guys have any questions, you know, write them down, come with some, especially the skeptics, you know, come with these questions, you know, educate yourself and find out what's really going on in our neighborhoods and our cities and our states. So um, there's that event on Tuesday, and there's the event on Thursday, which is, like I said, it's going to be a free event. And it's about 9-11. All the evidence is that the uh, Amy 9-11 Truthers have uh, compiled. Great movie. Loved it. And, um, yeah, so and anybody gets involved in these occupies of any city. You, you know, if there's no occupy in your city, go occupy it. And you don't need to make yourself feel that, you know, if you go out there and do this, that you're going to feel that everybody's going to look at you as a socialist or something. What you need to do is go out there and show them who you are then. Because when we went up to Hartford, you know, we did encounter a couple people that believed in, you know, no government and stuff like that, which, you know, we kind of try to educate them a little bit about what government is established for. You know, we need a government to protect our borders and protect our Constitution.